Okay, today I decided to do a review on Martinez Specialties Quick Fire Clips. Um, I got in contact with a, a gentleman named named uh, Jeff Genzel from ElectricMatch.com. Uh, he's a great guy uh, to do business with. Um, today, uh, oh, I contacted him if I could do or get a sample of these uh, Quick Fire Clips and do a little demonstration on these in the uh, consumer and, and, and the display business. Um, pretty much, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, pretty much put these together. Uh, pretty much, this closes up like that. Pretty much, here's the, the tube, the pass fire tube, where the, when the electric match goes off, the flame comes out of this tip right here. Um, in this display business, this can uh, be attached directly shoved right into the, the lift of a uh, three inch shell, four inch shell, wherever the shell desires and just take them place it with a piece of masking tape. Um, pretty much how this works is um, you take your electric match, Martini Specialties or MJ Technology, I don't know, I think they're the same company. Uh, this is how you're going to put together. You want to see right in the middle there, you want to shove the electric match right into the hole. Just like that. And then on the other side are two little plastic posts right in, in there. What you want to do, you want to shove the, the chip in between those two posts. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, it's kind of difficult to get in there. Especially if something's not small. And just like that. Hope you can see it. Pretty much the pyrogen is right there. The tip. There's a chip right there between the two posts. And lead wire resting on top of that piece of plastic right in there. And pretty much you just close it up. Just like that. It will snap right in. And uh, this, you can shove on a, a piece of Visco fuse from a, uh, a cake. Or uh, if you're doing chains, uh, tying a bunch of shells together in a rack. Pretty much you can just shove it right into the hole. It will fit perfectly. I think this is a 3 millimeter fuse. I, think. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of frayed. Pretty much before you shove in the visco, you want to have a nice clean tip, not frayed. Uh, you just kind of twist it, shoves it right in there. Uh, I have a crappy visco fuse, it's not lacquered or anything. Pretty much you get the idea. Uh, this fuse will fit directly right into there. Maybe you could get another piece of fuse that's a little bit better. this you want to do you kind of need to twist it when you shove it in there uh, here you go that's how it is um, after you do that uh, you want to pretty much put a piece of tape around here and make sure the fuse does not come out of uh, the tube area right here um, if you want to use it on display cakes uh, pretty much, uh, some, most of these display cakes come with an E-Match port. These will also work with those two. Pretty much put together just like how you see here. And you shove it right into the, take off the little cap that's on the port and shove it in. And then you put a piece of tape around it to secure it or do a little hitch of E-Match wire. Um, another way uh, in this blade business, uh, you could, like I said before, you can put into directly the lift of a uh, shell for pre precise timing also you can actually just take um, the quick match on the shell right here pretty much shove it in there just like that yeah, it fits right in and you, you do take a piece of tape right there and secure it 
she doesn't fall out. Uh, I think this is a great uh, invention clip here. And uh, if you want to do consumer consumer fireworks, another way uh, you can utilize these. Again, I'm taking a sample here. A cake. Like I said before, I sh how I showed you the piece of visco, pretty much just shove the visco right into there. I can't really do it with this. This actually has a piece of primer on it. But uh, you get the idea. Shove it in there, put it like that, secure it, and once the E-match fires, it will direct fire right in into the, the core of the visco fuse and it will fire that. Um, if you want split second timing for choreographed Class C shows, um, there's another way you can do it is pretty much take off some of the paper uh, this cake is to Pretty much, you can take a piece of uh, a nail, pretty much, and shove it right above the fuse. You want to go under it because usually under it, that's where the clay is. You want to go above the visco fuse. Pretty much, just make the hole a bit bigger so you can uh, shove the tip end of here of the quick part clip in directly into the the lift of the first tube here, and so you you can get your precise timing for. Your, I know some of you guys out there do some choreographed Class C shows for 4th of July, New Year's, whatnot. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, quick fire clips. Electricmatch.com. I'm pretty sure you don't need a BATF license for this. Uh, contact Jeff Genzel at info at electricmatch.com. If you have any questions, leave it in comments down the bottom of the page or get in contact with Jeff. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to Jeff for sending me down a sample of these. Um, definitely I'll put these to good use. Um, I guess we'll get a more, little more into this a little bit. The uh, purpose of this, you know, as you know, electric matches are very dangerous. Um, they're friction sensitive. Uh, pretty much you do not want to have the match head exposed uh, in any way so you can smash especially when you have matched product you know uh, the quick fire clip is definitely a great way to go if you want to do some class C choreographed shows um, yeah it's a neat little device it's just a piece of plastic snaps right in there Hmm. Also, also, I'm pretty sure you can shove a piece of a uh, quick visco in here too. But uh, this is a quick visco I have here. It's kind of thick. We can always do just cut off a piece of quick match, shove in your quick fire clip, and shove in the piece of a uh, visco fuse or a quick visco here, and tape it down. That's another way to pass fire to the fuse. And that's pretty much it. This is the quick fire clip. If you guys have any questions, leave some comments. Uh, thanks again to Jeff Genzel at MJG Technologies and for sending me, sending, uh, me down a sample of these. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope it's information. It's uh, educational. And uh, if you have any comments or questions again, leave it down below on the page or send me a uh, message. All right. Also, um, I'm pretty sure you guys watched my other video, how to make commercial grade electric matches. Um, commercial grade electric matches always comes with a shroud, but when you manufacture your own electric matches, um, uh, there's no place to get shrouds uh, that's available to you, to, to, the, to the hobbyists. Um, this is a great way, uh, investment, um, to put your electric match heads into uh, to keep your match head uh, pretty much clear of weather and actually getting uh, 
have something dropped onto it pretty much and set off you know whatever is connected to so if you can if you manufacture your own commercial grade electric matches and you don't have shrouds for them obviously so this is a definitely a good um, investment uh, to put your money into so protect your electric match heads